in Street Fighter 4. All he Wait, did was really? play Bison and spam Psycho Crusher. <laughs> it was the dumbest shit ever. He didn't even spam Scissor Kick. Like, yeah, that, you, when I think of Bison spamming a move, I think it's going to be Scissor Kick. He was just playing, he was just doing Psycho Crusher, and I'm like, bro, you have a plus on block? Like, <laughs> dumbass, throw it out whenever you want special. What are you thinking? Alright, going into this game here. Starting on Garrick Mach. Anchor really likes Garrick Mach. He always has to start on this one. And I can't say I blame him because it's pretty small, but also has plats for Falcon's amusement. Yeah, and you know, the walls. You know, put some wall jump again. Oh, nice little combo starting up there. Going with those uh, inside hitboxes of the sword that uh, knock the character up. I think uh, one thing in this... You have to be mobile versus Falcon if you want any chance at beating him. Any character who's like... Falcon can kind of just run around. Like, they lose the matchup ten times over. Yeah, you gotta be able to definitely like move, either like keep up with his movement or like have a good plan to like stop him from moving too much. Yep. Down tilt floor there, not quite killing. Falcon uh, is also deceptively difficult to uh, to edge guard in this game as well. I think Falcon Kick is just a much stronger recovery tool than it is in melee. Yeah, even in general, Fal Falcon Kick like is just way better in ultimate. So I'm assuming like a lot of the ultimate changes is kind of carried over. That, that move is honestly super messed up in Ultimate. I don't know why they buffed it like they did. Oh, there's that single hit in air. Uh, Anchor loves the single hit in air tech chases because he gets so much off of it. Weak knee. Not quite anything. Oh, oh yeah. Just up throw knee. Still living at 101, though. I would not expect that, honestly. Especially from that launch angle. Yeah, Papaya are doing a really good job just, like, mixing up their recovery. It's like, actually, honestly, both players are. Like, we haven't really seen, like, any really early, like, gyms from either player yet. Ah, uh, not quite connecting with the up air. Hoping to start some kind of drag down. There's no Yeah, way. gentleman in knee. knee. Gentleman in knee, that's the classic. Wow. If you need a combo at high percent, it'll just work. Why not? Everything combos into knee at all times. Especially knee. <laughs> knee to knee. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> it is not. You have n you have never seen Wizzy if that's the case. Sorry, our our uh, stream help Genki just pointed out that double knee getting hit by that is a skill issue. He has not seen Wizzy play. Oh, getting hit by the double up air. It's honestly like disgusting that he has like those backward angles on up air now because he could just kind of connect oh them to God. free back airs or just a knee off stage. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty free too. Yeah, Papaya jumped into that. You, you there's like a little double jump circle below him. So good, good call out from Anchor. Gonna take the stock and even up this game. Yeah, you have to like go out, uh, go like far when you're uh, getting comboed by Falcon off stage because if you do an early jump, he's just going to kill you for it. That's the rough thing though, because then you're gonna have to deal with him like stomping on the stomping on the ledge. Kind of jockeying for position here. Yeah, Alright. Oh, Papaya has the offstage out of jump. Yeah. Oh. oh, he gets hit by the tech. Yeah, that was really good. Oh shoot. Right, back One thing that it. Papaya is making good use of is the fact that uh, Greninja's grounded normals are definitely a lot better than Falcons. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. Like, that down tilt, it's cracked. It, it gives Greninja so much. And the fact that he has a sword in that forward air means that he can kind of outspace Falcon trying to do Nair. You know, characters who have a little bit of a lack of disjoints are going to have a terrible time against Falcon because of that Nair. But, you know, Greninja can at least mitigate a little bit of that. Watch out for the tech chase. Ah, almost gets it. Oh, yeah, oh. Mistech. Still oh, living, 110. Yeah, it's a little tough for uh, Anchor to catch him on this, but this should be... Yep, up throw aerial. Still living. Honestly, excellent DI by Papaya. Good awareness. Get behind him so he can't just near you. Yeah, no, Goes I, for rapid jab. Yeah, I know Anchor's mostly like a, a melee PM player, so I wonder if, like, how much experience do they have fighting Greninja in general? I would say, well, you know... I, I'd say a lot. They're a lot more on even footing in this game because I think even like an ultimate player who understands ultimate Greninja is still going to be very surprised by the way that Greninja plays in this uh, in this game. At least by the specific things that Greninja can do. Yeah, that that makes sense. Up air. Oh, almost got. Almost uh, had it really. He just needed to like slightly drift a little forward on that one. Edgeguard situation. 
We didn't. We haven't said anything about it, but now it's Papaya who's in the deficit. He could be dead. Oh, I think he could have gone for a weak knee, strong knee there. I think that was the attempt, but uh, Papaya just wasn't sent in like, the right direction for that to work out. But yeah, it's Anchor, messed up that he could do that still in this game. Weak yeah. knee, strong knee. Anchor has kind of been behind for most of this game, but they kind of brought it back last stock. Turning up at the 12th up hour. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that'll do it. That's rough. Honestly, like, the thing about uh, up throw knee is that in a lot of other games, it's very much DI dependent. Like, at least in a lot of matchups it is. Yeah, high enough percents versus certain characters, it's mostly guaranteed. But in this game, it feels, like, really guaranteed. Like, when he gets the up throw, the game's done. Yeah, like, Falcon's up throw, like, it's one of the... When I first started getting the HDR, people talking about, you know, the changes, what's really good. That was one of the first things I heard about. Like, yeah. Falcon up throw is just, like, a free kill confirm in a backer or, or knee. That's, like, a rough thing. Because even in it, even in its best iterations, because I'm, I'm pretty sure up throw is not a very good move. No. Dropping a little too low there, rough SD. Even if it in its iterations like Smash Four, right? It's not a very good move, right? They don't use it very much. You use it to, to kill, like yeah, <laughs> like one sixty or like something crazy. Like you're in Smash Four, if you get to grab a Falcon, you're most always going for the down throw. Like, yeah, trying to get like a 50-50 or guaranteed combo. In melee and PM though, up throw has like plenty of like it's a it's a good move. It has plenty of uses. It uh it gives you more time to react for a tech chase at later percents, and it can set up throw for up throw knee. A lot of the times, Falcons, what they love to do is at higher percents, they'll up throw onto plat. And that's where they'll get some kind of tech chase into knee. Or just up air, like, a bunch of times. Why not? Even up the stocks already. I mean, that's all Falcon needs. But in this game, as we were mentioning before, up throw is just, like, something that leads into stuff. Directly into stuff. Which is messed up, honestly. Okay, we see Papaya putting on pressure right now in the corner. Has Anger off stage. Oh, bit of a yeah, mix up with the forward throw there. Okay, jumped back in anticipation of the tech up B, but still not spaced well enough to punish it. Yeah, I like that adaptation coming out from Papaya. Oh, Ooh. excellent ledge grab. That was sneaky. That was so slick. That was a sneaky little ledge grab there. Okay, get up attack. Gimmer. <laughs> Does it beat it? <laughs> well, what about get up again? Up. Oh, up air? Okay, goes for Nair instead. Tries to reset the tech chase. Gets grabbed. Yeah, yeah. Now now you're uh, now he's feeling like a privileged Falcon. He thinks he can just go for it. Instead, he's got his old friend platform in his way. Just a little rapid jab, send him off. Okay, oh tech out. Goodness. I love the way he followed him up onto that platform. If he, if he picked like forward air or something, that might have been really scary. Yeah, there goes for the forward throw again. Is that like a DI mix up? It's gotta be. The way that it barely sent Falcon anywhere. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think Anchor was DI incorrectly expecting that move to come out. Getting him with the back air. Oh, Shadow Sneak. Get him off me. And the Midgar platform, he gets to escape a little. Yeah, just a Nair knee. But he's still staring down a pretty big deficit. Not that Falcon can't get rid of it in yeah, a couple hits. Falcon traditionally is such an explosive character that like a one stock deficit like this, like it isn't much for him to do if he gets the right hit. Ah yeah, safe knee. Knee safe. Don't rem don't forget. I mean really Papaya shouldn't be forgetting. He is a melee player. I knee doesn't seem as safe in this game, but it's definitely like pretty safe. There it goes, evening up the stocks, 92 to 0. All either of them need is one opening. Has to read the tech in. Oh, you know that's that down air is honestly so disgusting in this game. Because you can really kind of just sneak it in there, and, and if you DI a certain way, it can combo too. And you know, there's no meteor There's cancel. no way. Okay, I thought Oh, up throw a forward air, gonna take him off the top there. Yeah, I, I thought that up throw was just gonna kill Raw because like the platform's moving up, but it's fine. You thought about it? Yeah, but it's fine. You gotta kill confirm that go that, that, that does that anyway. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, one one. Let's see where they're gonna go next. All right, back to Garrig. Yeah, I wonder if like the the fact that the platform was rising like helped out. Like if that was on like the main stage, if that would have killed. Nah, Chris Jacobs got this. He's got this. Don't don't sweat. Don't sweat. Three, two, Starting off again. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I feel like uh, 
it's a really good mental tactic to ban the stage that somebody um, somebody already won on when there's no DSR. But, I mean, Papaya feels confident enough in himself to just go back to this. Maybe a little shades of the set that we previously saw with him, where he kind of lost that first game not so well, and then kind of pulled his mentality together toward the end. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Papaya showing really good adaptation in the previous set against Face, and also like in the, in that previous game. Like, maybe there, maybe, some players they're just like that. We're like, yeah, oh. I need I need a minute to like figure you out. But once I do, like it's over, you know. That down air was setting up for something spicy, but Papaya, he didn't pull the trigger. He probably could have just back aired there, but he was probably. I'm willing to bet that he was thinking like, nah, not cool enough. Come back air. Oh my goodness! That knee—he's trying, oh. trying to just do run through knee. That's the—that's the classic like the great equalizer yeah. overshoot knee. Yeah. He's got an uppy. Goes low. <laughs> like, he's still living though. Goes high. Oh, couldn't catch him. He landed in front. Yeah, anchors. No, he's done. He's done. That's so gross. Just gentleman knee. That was at like a hundred. That wasn't even that high percent this time. I knew that was hitting too. The moment I saw the gentleman come out, and I'm like, that's hitting and comboing into knee. But evens it up. Nice and simple. Down tilt forward air. Oh, I love that combo there, but like, I feel like uh, the window for like ASDI down tech is a lot more generous in this game. Like that that down tilt there, that anchor hit, I feel like it would be a lot tougher to hit that and say like Project M or Melee. That was a good forward air, because it made him slide off the platform and he had to, then he was able to combo that into like a detail. I like the charging of the Shuriken there. It gives him enough time to still react to what Falcon's doing. Not going to die off that forward, uh, up throw forward air though. Oh, just jabs him? Just to set up for another one? And he's dead. Wow. Papaya was so clean that last stock. No, he's looking slick right now. I think I think he really he's just using these first games just to feel things out. And he's just like resetting that mentality, getting that med meditation going. That power of nothingness. Alright, bit of a rough trade. Get him off stage. Oh, goes for I, I think that back air might have been a miss input there. Unless he was going for some kind of reverse bear combo. Up throw. Up air. Up air. Me? Not gonna not, kill. Not gonna kill. Not quite. Uh, although I'm surprised it didn't. Alright, good tech chase. Uh, I think he was expecting a landing on the other platform. That'll do it though. That'll do it. Yeah, that's definitely the kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Stango, what's good? Yo, Stango popping in. Yeah, Greninja's definitely a bit of a spam whirlwind, uh. But then again, you do, Stango, you do play DK in PM, so I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I don't know why you're trying to, I don't know what you're trying to pull here. All right, a nice back here to send him off. I really appreciate the usage there. I think he could have just gone for a down tilt, but yeah. resets the situation. I mean, the throw down combos tilt. anyway, so. Ah, gets caught. You're still in there. All right, Anchor's gonna have to make some plays right now. There. Yes, Tango. Yes, Tango. Yeah, that quadruple up air to kill switch off the top. I remember that. That was super honest. All right, going back into this. Double dash attack. I feel like I don't see that very often. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Just calls out the spot dodge. You know, I have to appreciate that. That was ballsy. Called out the spot dodge with the knee. Because either he shields, he spot dodges, or he rolls, and he can just react with a dash and grab. A uh, bit of a rough tech there. He probably just wanted ledge. Falcon is uh, disgusting in this game. Uh, if you check Anchor's Twitter, he's always been posting like clips of tech that Falcon can do. Uh, it, it, with any luck, we might be able to demonstrate some of the extra stuff that he's uh, that he's got in this game. Of course, he has free up throw knee. That's just free, by the way. Ooh, okay. There's very little that you can do. You can DI behind, but then it's free up throw back air. Yeah, and then anchor going out deep for that back air. Oh, oh! I, he actually had the ability to drift back still. Yeah, anchor's been doing such a good job at like whenever they recover high, able to like mix up the recovery. Oh, it gets caught there. This should be the end. Yep. Still living? No, I thought for a moment he might be. Anchor might have thought so too. Yeah, that back air from ledge from Papaya there is pretty good just because it covers him trying to drift towards ledge, but also he can drift in the stage. Yeah. So it covers that too. And he gets a confirm off it with forward air. Yeah, so like like how Anchor has been doing a really good job of mixing up their drift whenever they go high like that, that just covers both options. Like, mm -hmm. unless you're going like super far in the stage, like Greninja's just going to catch that. We're going to see 
Uh, oh, we're going to see a great bait pick here. Anchor did not feel comfortable going back to Garrick Mock. Wait. We're take, I, I think Anchor's taking a second. Ah, uh, yeah, he's taking a second. I don't think I did not think there would be a switch. Yeah, I, I don't. Th I've known Anchor as just like this really good Falcon player, so I, I I'm, I don't think I have another character. But yeah, I think one, one standout feature about the stage is it feels really small. Like there's just one tiny platform in the middle, and then like not that much space uh, on the sides of it. It's weird because it's like we got Hollow Bastion with this same setup, but a big platform versus this one with a small platform. I I appreciate what you're saying in the in the chat, Stango. The that is a very interesting idea. So Stango is saying that uh, Anchor could call out Greninja's dash attacks better by doing more, doing some of those whizzy stomps, doing like that jump back down air to catch him. That's definitely something that he's been underutilizing. And I gotta be honest, I think it's because of like the amount of stupid tools that Falcon still is available to him. Goes for the up air there. Honestly, smart. Didn't even have to like try to go for knee. Up air still a kill. It's honestly it's it uh like it's kinda crazy how easy like he can do gentleman and just get a kill off of it. Yeah, cause man in, in melee, like gentleman's like a hard input for like no reason, right? <laughs> Alright, dash attack. Dash attack up air is also gross. Like you can why is he able to combo off his dash attack too? Like he's gotta <laughs> he's gotta like do stuff. That's also something, also, uh, good to mention there for Stango. He definitely isn't using uh, Raptor Boost that much. He, I've only seen it, seen him use it a couple times, and they've been kind of like Hail Mary tech chases. Like, uh, maybe this will work if I throw this out here. Although, I, I won't lie, he's definitely looking pretty solid right now. Yeah, I feel like Anchor is kind of turning up this game. Oh, great wall jump to try to recover. Right. Reset the situation with down air, but he wasn't ready to catch that air dodge. That was a Falcon yeah, game. yeah. That was that was like a stomp knee moment there with how much time he had to set up the forward air. But it's definitely it's definitely kind of a funny thing where like Falcon has to hit that forward air early to get that uh, get that sweet spot hitbox, whereas you know Greninja has to wait just a little bit to make sure he's got the right part of the swipe coming out. <laughs> down tilt, down tilt, dash attack. Huh? Oh. Uh, crash cancel? Uh, he... Okay, he DI'd correctly. He didn't get a hit by the up airs. In this situation again, oh, double yeah. stomp. Okay, oh. that was in, that was interesting. Because in melee, when he got hit with that stomp, there's no way he wouldn't have been set up for a knee there. But still gets the tech chase off afterwards. Oh my goodness. Uh, Anchor just had like, an amazing, like, like, past 15 seconds of gameplay. They put on so much percent so quickly on Papaya. But up high is edgeguarding them super hard right now. Oh, this that those down airs, they're kinda coming out now. I think he's uh he might be getting a little desperate. Oh, forward throw forward air? Yeah, that'll do it. 131 to 0. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they they've been kind of just like passing each other on these recovery mix-ups. Yeah, I think it just Maybe just unfamiliarity, like on, on like, because I feel like in melee, like the game is so like, like developed that like most ki like you have a flowchart edge guard for like a lot of different characters. Yeah, for sure. We're like, how do you do that against Greninja? Well, we don't know yet. Like maybe that'll get figured out eventually. But as of right now, like you just kind of like gotta commit to covering something. Yep. Yeah, just jump back here. Ah, oh, and I'll do it. Great punish on that up tilt. Uh, finally catches Papaya swinging with something. Now an air combo started. Oh, okay. Doesn't catch the roll in. Oh, rough DI on the air. Oh, okay. Great job going to lead from Oh, the, did they traded down? Yeah, they what traded down there. They both they both got spiked. That was kind of gross. Oh, like nothing on that bear. I'll say it, Raptor Boost does look like a little harder to get a combo off of than it does in Ultimate. But just a nice and simple confirm into me is going to do it for that game. Game five between these two right now. Yeah. Let's see if Papaya might be able to make some kind of adjustment, get back into this. Yeah, I think that slight pause to Maker before starting game four really helped them out. Like they were they're definitely playing a lot better in that game compared to the rest of the set.
So, you know, that, that's good for Anchor. They got momentum going into the last game, but Pi is going to have to see what they can do to stop that. Yeah. I agree with Stango on the knowledge there. That that makes sense because it's like kind of a cross between uh, ult Raptor Boost and melee Raptor Boost, but it'll have the ult Raptor Boost property of just like instantly being able to combo into up air at lower percents. Definitely something that he doesn't go for too often. But once again, I, I think that is a, just a matter of like the breadth of like Falco, Falco, Falcon's tool set that he just has so much crap that he can use. Although he's throwing out that low percent Raptor Boost right there, already like thinking about it. Raptor Boost Stomp. Nearly got a follow up off of it too. Okay, excellent deck, excellent uh, drag down to start the tech chase there. Oh wow, that <laughs> that Raptor Boost is barely not catching Greninja as, as they run away. Yeah, a bit of a, I don't know, I think that might have been a roll, right? Uh, I was wondering what like caused the early activation there. I think it's just like it, it, it like activated the detect in hitbox for the second part of the move to start up, but then the second part of the move the hitbox didn't connect with Greninja because he was running away too fast. Oh, catches him. All right, good wait, but no real follow up there. Go, trying to get this overshoot knee going. Oh, up tilt. That would have been something. Yeah, that. That, that spikes in this game. Oh, so. If he was just a, like a little earlier with that knee, that kind of would have been gross. I think Papaya might not have been ready for that BI if it happened. He's going to be taking that first stock. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, what was that? What was that Raptor boost? That was something else. Now he's going for the... This is like the last game Raptor boost. This is the... I'm going to throw it out now Raptor boost. Yeah, in, in case the game five break glass <laughs> Raptor boost. Yeah, that, that's definitely the kind of move Raptor Boost is. But Gentleman Me, it's honestly so free, bro. I mean, like, look at that. Dude, that's so crazy. That's like, you can do that in Mail yeah, PM, but, like, it's not. it doesn't look that free. I'm going to land on stage. Yeah, but Anchor is able to roll out of that scenario. Papaya is still there with the coverage. Yeah, it looks like Papaya needs maybe a little adjustment on that back air because he's got the idea down of what to do with it, but... Uh, can't quite get the right hitboxes going in his favor. Coming down with forward air. Why not mash a little? Now nah, that'll do it. Up there forward air. Take him off the top. No, he's still living! I thought he was. Oh. Alright, good catch. Finally catches him on the tech chase there. Yeah, that, for the first time we see Papaya um, like counterplay or counterattack the, uh, the tech up B. He's able to get a kill off of it. I mean, what, can you blame him, Stango? He's a Falcon. <laughs> He's a Falcon main. Oh, he almost got that reverse up air train started. That was a. Uh, that was kind of weird. I, I would expect that up air to hit there too. That definitely could have been uh, death for Papaya if Anchor was like better on the reaction. Excellent with the cross up up tilt. Love to see it. Oh wow! I can't believe that. Like, oh, that that, that re stands. Like he was still standing after that. I like the way he's using these uh, forward throws right now to set up stuff in the corner. Yo, Papaya is ledge trapping anchor so hard right now. Oh yeah, but he kind of gets zipped on. I, I guess the... I think he threw at forward smash and might have like extended his arm just a little bit. Just for Falcon to grab there. Oh, okay. Anchor finds yeah, the center. Yeah, definitely using the cheap stuff right now. Definitely pulling out the cheap stuff. He's got the purple stuff. Oh, he was expecting a roll there. Maybe a bit of a panic option he was reading. Nah, I think this might be it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, still got the wall jump. Uh, Papaya wasn't quite quite ready for the mix-up. No F tilt knee for you. God, that was so scary. The fact that that forward, th or forward air almost comboed out of that down air. <laughs> They're both like going buck wild, trying to land some hit to kill here. But that shield's looking real low. Yeah, Anchor was like really running out of space on that. All right, reverse bear. Yeah, so not quite a kill. Yeah, that, that's something that Greninja like has that Falcon doesn't. Like he needs kind of you know short off forward air and just kind of space it out, like fishing for a hit. For Falcon, like a lot, I feel like a lot of his stuff, like he has to run in like to knee, and that's like a little bit more committal. Especially when he's dealing with a character like Greninja who has that extra bit of range. Because yeah. normally in like matchups where Falcon's fighting somebody who doesn't have an overwhelming range advantage, he really can just let that nair fly. But he has to pick his opportunities a little better against Papaya. It's also the fact that Greninja is like really short. That for, too. For like a character that 
has like longer limbs, it like crouched really low to the ground. Oh, he got the forward oh, air! Oh my goodness, it led cancel! Forward throw, forward air, and that'll do it. I That's gotta be it, yeah. Wow, the ledge cancel. Papaya with the game five game plan, taking him out there. Yeah, Rex dabbing up. Let's go. You know, I gotta, I gotta dab, I gotta dab up my boy now. Hold on. Yeah, the, it's not even just a short crowd. Like it's just Greninja's standing animation. It's like very short for no reason. <laughs> I guess the reason is that they're just a, a ninja. All right, so we're getting it. 